Hey everybody, it's Gamalad. Welcome back to Let's Play 7th Dragon 3 Code VFD. In the last episode, we had a very interesting training session with Yuma, and in this episode, we'll be doing, off some, we'll be doing some more quests and hopefully, perhaps, finishing off Chapter 3.3. So let's go ahead and do this last start quest. Eulania seems down. Alright, Eulania has been looking pretty down lately. Can you go uh, try and see what's bothering her? Alright, talk to Jaeger at the Atlantis ev Evac Ward. Alright, this request was made by an anonymous client from Atlantis. They said they have their own special reasons for not including your name. Anyway, the goal the goal of this request is, is counseling to cheer up Queen Eulania. They will be waiting for you at the Atlantis Evac Ward. Please hurry over there. Okay, well, we all know it's obviously Jaeger because he has the hots for the for the Queen. They were they I just it's just I just think it's it's pretty obvious at this point. So let's head to the Atlantis Evac Ward and see what Jaeger has to say. Alright, where is he? He should be over in this direction. Yep, here he is. Oh, it's, uh, if it isn't Unit 13, uh, how's it going? A long time no see, huh? Oh, I love it when characters actually get a chance to stutter, so when I'm actually reading lines, I can have an excuse if I, if I start messing up. Alright, I'm here for your request, Jaeger. Uh, don't be so loud, you idiot. <sighs> Even though I put the request in anom anonymously, you still knew right away. Well, if it wasn't for the fact that you had a thing for the Queen, um, the second biggest thing would be your entire reaction to us even mentioning the request. Or just your entire demeanor toward this in the general. I guess I can admit it, I'm the one who, ha who had those twins put the quest up. But just to be clear, I didn't ask you about, about that for, for Eulania's sake. It's just that if she gets all sad, everyone else around here ends up down in the dumps too. All those guys can cry and complain all they want, which helps them feel a little better. But it's hard for someone in Eulania's position to complain, don't you think? If she, stray if she, if she stays depressed, she'll just make everyone else feel bad again. Can you take can you take her somewhere to try and cheer her up? Oh uh, yeah, sure, why not? It's up to you. And don't think and, and I'm making this request of a representative of the people of Atlantis, nothing more. Don't you dare go associating my name with, with, with this unit 13. Uh-huh, sure, Jaeger. You have no ulterior motives for this whatsoever. So let's go ahead in here and talk to her highness and see how she's doing today. You wish for me to go out? Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. That sounds like a good idea, Lady Elania. Staying in this room all day with only, only worse than your mood, I suggest you go out for a change of pace. But I cannot leave everyone. Well, let's see, this will help them. Yeah, yeah, this will help them. It will help my people? I see, if you insist. I shall be absent for a short while. I understand. Enjoy your day, Lady Elania. Unit 13, leave the care of Lady Elania to you. Let us depart, Unit 13. No, what, what's wrong, Elania? I don't know what, what anything's about. About what's going on right now, I promise. Huh? Jaeger, I'm going out with Unit 13 for a short while. While will you be accompanying us? You, you, should just, you should just go. Why do I have to come, too? I see. I suppose you are busy handling the other evacuees. Please, take care of them while I'm gone. Yeah, yeah, take your time. Jaeger, is there something wrong? Why would there be? <laughs> Just hurry up and go. Oh, Jaeger, you, you had you had your one chance to spend some time with the Queen. So, where shall we go? Um, hmm. Well, how about this? Where do you want to go? Let me see. I have hardly left my room, let alone this floor. How about the terrace where you gazed upon the ocean a few days ago? Oh, okay, we can go back there again. I mean, not, not much else we can, we can actually see there. Oh, thank goodness for the fast traveling system because we actually don't have to walk around and um, and um, go to every floor. But I keep forgetting what where everything is. We're going to go to the rest floor to go to the terrace. All right, so let's head on up here and see what she wants us to see from up here. Maybe she just wants you know enjoy the view, but she could come up here anytime in her own time. It was dusk out last time here. The setting sun is beautiful, but it's nice in the daytime as well. Hmm. Ali informed me that this world is also under attack by dragons, and that you came to Atlantis to stop that attack from taking place. Um, there was something I, I, I wish to ask. Did our actions change the history of Atlantis at all? I see. There was no change. Atlantis, Atlantis disappeared from the maps, and the Lucia race was, was uh, decimated. Well, hey, you're all alive, Delulania. That is indeed true, if I had not met you. 
I have many reasons to thank you, yet none to complain. However, a part of me still wonders, could I have saved everything if I were stronger? Let's see, you did everything you could. It, let's be let's be real here, nobody has that strength. Indeed, even you who had the strength to defeat Nyla could not save my kingdom. However, I fear you speak the truth. Most would freeze when uh freeze when facing despair. You conquered. Even so, I Hmm. You don't want to go back in time, are you not? Could you go once again, this time before Nyla's invasion? I wish to save both my father and my kingdom. Is that an impossible wish to hold? Yes. No need to even go into that. Yes. Oh, let's be frank. Huh? Unit 13? Where are you going? Oh, no time my in-game character is dense about this. Of course it's impossible. You want to go back to the peaceful time before Nyla attacked? <sighs> you always have the most unreasonable demands. Please forgive them. It is my fault they wish to do this. <sighs> Don't worry, Lady Elania. It's only natural that you that you would let you'd think like that. However, it's just not possible. An immense amount of DZ is needed to open a portal to a new age. And besides, my device can only take you to a certain time period, no matter how much DZ you use. It works by finding the temporal distortions caused by the entropy emitted by a true dragon's coming. We then connect it to the distortion using DZ. You can't just pick a time and place you want to go to. Well, so, will the, let's see, will we be able to in the future? So there is no way? Yeah, how about in the future? Hmm, I can't say for sure, but besides, but besides, doing so would only bring you pain. As I've mentioned before, even if we can save Lady Lania's father, our world won't change. It would cause a contradiction within, a, within the law of casualty, something called a time paradox. Time paradox? By changing the past, you change the future, but does your will carry into that future? In this situation, the likely result could call, would be the creation of a separate parallel world. In other words, once you change something in the past, a new world, a new future, is born. A new world? Then my meeting you and forging the Dragon Slayer would never have happened? Not to the Lady Lady of that new world. Hmm. Even though I made this machine, not even I can mess with the fabric of time. It's pretty cliche, but what's important for you to do is act in the present day. Let's see, I agree with Julieta. I do agree with him, but you know what, Let's, that, that probably won't, you know, be the best to encourage her. Let's do what we can right now. What we can? I lost so much, yet I'm still able to forge a new future for myself? The fog looming over my heart seems to have lifted somewhat. Thank you for this valuable discussion, Mr. Julieta. I apologize for the trouble. Oh, it's no problem. I love talking, taking prayer little youngins under my wing. Uh, Julieta, do I need to call the police? Come again whenever you like! Unit 13, you have my thanks. I feel as though a large weight has been lifted up from my shoulders. I must do what I can to lead to surviving citizens. That much has become very clear to me. Since meeting you, I have been reborn into someone completely new. You went against the desires of your superiors in order to save my people. I have to live my life to the fullest in order to repay you for your determination. Listen, anyone has done the same, really. Um, Gamma? Are we finished so soon? Do you not think it, it, it is somewhat early to go back? Eh, you know what, hey, you're right. Yes, I appreciate your vigor, so where will you take me next? Hmm, I've always wanted to go to the plaza, let us continue there. Whoa! This is even more exciting than, than the dragons came! I think I, it's love at first sight! Damn, that girl's freaking gorgeous! What the heck is she? And who's that with her? OMG, cat ears and those clothes! Uh, she's perfect in every way! Why don't I have my camera? I need my camera! So this is what your world is like. Remember what I said earlier? Being part cat in Japan at this time would would work out in your favor. 
Do you mind if we if I walk we walk around for a little, for a bit? Oh yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. Oh, so we want to talk. To, so we to talk to all these people. This will be a lot of fun seeing all these people's reactions to her highness. Those cat ears and that costume design are they prototyping a new anime character? Such generous use of high quality material. Here. Material <laughs> materials. Well, well, I'll be looking forward to a season two. Don't worry, I'm an expert on everything ranging from econo economy to girls' underwear. I know quality when I see it. Speaking of which, those cat ears are incredible. Um, listen, dude. This is this is bad coming from me, but you need to start going outside a bit more. Yes, I know he's already outside, but like doing other things. All right, what about you? That costume! Just stunning! <laughs> you could be a real hit! Well, I guess if she was to become an idol, she probably would do good. And what about you? Damn! I just want to be close to that cat-eared girl, too! I just want to go home and rest my head on those silky, smooth legs, and why am I reading this? Uh, I want her so bad! I would never say this in real life. Come on. Yeah, cat ears. Girls, are, girls are, of uh, other species are just the best. Did I die and go to heaven? This girl's an angel. Okay, that may have been closer to how I would probably have reacted, but still. Uh, what about you over here, Miss? Whoa, that outfit's awesome. I'm jealous of how good that looks on you. If only I were 11 pounds thinner, three years younger, and two inches taller. <sighs> I suppose life isn't fair. How old are you, lady? That's what I want to know. I'm surprised. So this is Tokyo. So many carefree people living their lives uninhabited, uh, in, uninhibited in both worlds and action. Words and actions. That's putting it mildly. Let's see. Well, that's not quite right. You're you're well, honestly no. You're surprisingly well adjusted. I myself am surprised. So, I had trouble understanding exactly what some of them were saying. It's clear that everyone across, even across species, boundaries can be broken by simply opening our hearts. The people of Atlantis only knew one civilization, our world of the sea. That is why our sorrow in losing it was so tremendous, tremendously deep. However, I am sure this free world without barriers will provoke hope to everyone. Then we have uh, one day to revive our home of, Atlant home of Atlantis. This land will be our second home. Alright, you know what? Hey, I have faith in you, Lainia, but you know what? I'll help whenever I can. Gamma. You have to you have your own responsibilities. This mission has was given to us and us alone. We cannot rely on you. However, your words made me exceedingly happy. Thank you, Gamma. It is about is it about time to return to my quarters. Next it'll be my turn to bring cheer to the people of Atlantis. I may not be as skilled as you at at, at doing so. But I will lead the hearts of my people to the light. That's great to hear. Well then, enjoy the rest of your day. Alright, and that probably should be it for the quest. Oh, not quite yet. I guess we have to report back to Jaeger and let him know that um, she's not the medical floor. We don't need any medical attention. But I think some of those people who are gushing over Eulania may need some. But no, let's go up here and talk to Jaeger and tell her, tell him that everything's peachy keen. Looks like that. Look, yeah, looks like Eulania is out of her funk, and everyone else is cheering up too. I knew I could trust trust you, Unit Thirteen. Thanks. Here, this is a sign of my appreciation. I brought it here from home, but I but I re can't really use it too well. So here, you can have it. Okay, 2000 AZ. Well, to be fair, you could probably use that more than we can, because you can buy stuff. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. Well, then, Elena is looking ahead to the future. Future now. I gotta do the same. Oh, sorry. It's nothing you have to worry about. Thanks again, Unit 13. Alright, and with that, the quest is done. You completed the quest. Alright. Yo, Unit 13, Allie and Juliette are looking for you. Don't be afraid, this is good news. Let's stop by the conference floor before bed. Oh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and see what they're what, uh, what they have uh, for us. Now, there are a few quests we haven't done, but I think I may end up doing those between future missions. Um, specifically, the learning about the which one was it? Let me talk to uh, her real quick. Real quick. The um, let's study the present. 
finding a tropical fish, and bug check assistance. And there's the seed operate quest, but that's actually a DLC quest, and I don't believe it's actually needed to complete the game 100%. Um, basically, you, it, it causes a bunch of dragon seeds to spawn in Atlantis, and you can use them to grind on up for um, skill points. But for now, we're going to actually head, head to the conference room and see what in the world is going on now. Nice job, Units 13. Thanks for helping out with all the requests. My, you're so popular now. Eh, well, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say that. No need to be shy. Popularity is a good thing. <sighs> I need to find a way to make a name for myself soon. But you made one of the most popular video games in the world right now. I'm going to wither away if I stay down in my lab much longer. I thought the Dragon Chronicle was your, was your baby, Julietta. Uh, yeah, yeah, my precious darling baby. We've completed an, an, we completed and analyzed the Nihilus specimen when combined with the Iod specimen and Falmahos data. <laughs> See, we're right above 50% now, with only three of the specimens. Once we get the other three true dragon specimens, the Dragon Chronicle will be 100% complete. We're almost there. Alright, all that hard work paid off. Yep, yep, it's thanks to you that we're able to reach this point, Unit 13. Your progress is truly moving. Well, we have one one more bit of good news for you guys. <laughs> we can finally use the portal to access the new temporal axis. We've been detecting a faint signal for quite some time now. But once we got our hands on Ni the Nihilus specimen, we were able to actually find it. Which means we have a way of yeah, we have a way to get to the next true dragon. Nobody in the history of the world has been able to complete the Dragon Chronicle yet. Achieving that complete uh, that completion is the key to defeating the seven true dragons, so we can't fail. All right, hey, well you know, leave it to me. But you know, we have to be careful though. Hmm, that's not quite the answer I was expecting. That boy and the old man from ISCF are gonna take you take your spotlight if you're too timid, you know. Well, if no one in the if, okay, hear me out. If no one in the history of the world has done this. Shouldn't we be a bit cautious? You don't know what this could do, really. Well, that's all for today. Thanks again for the hard work, Unit 13. See you tomorrow. Alright. So now, all I have to do now to advance in the game is to basically go to bed and see what will happen next. Well, that's good news, right? Hey, not gonna even say the next thing I wanted to say, too. You're gonna have a brand new mission starting tomorrow, so you better go get some rest. Alright, and we're going to do exactly that. But I think, um, let's take on one more quest before we go out. Let's go out and st let's study the present. Alright, it's time for some more le training. Let's learn about the present and make, your make you into even better Noden's employees. Alright, this is a continuation of your employee training from earlier. Before you begin, I will gi I I'll give you a lecture on, on basic knowledge every Noden's employee should know. Don't look at me like that. I don't want to do it either, but rules are rules. Basic known as knowledge part two. Today I'll teach you about the president of our company, Allie. Using all of the, her hard-earned money, President Allie started Nodens in order to bring happiness to the world. In doing so, she also brought the joy of employment to many workers, and enslavement to our twins here. The people of Nodens hope to work for, for President Allie to the day we, we lay on our deathbeds. Ugh, my stomach just hurts thinking about working for the rest of my life. Today's lecture is finished. Please go to the war room. President Allie is waiting. Okay, well that was probably the most easiest cut and dry quest I've ever done in my entire life. That's all we had to do. All right, Allie, we talked to Chica and got our lecture. Time for another training session, right? You you'd be studying the modern history today. The 2000s are quite recent, but not much is known about them. Let's start from the beginning. Come back once you've studied up on, in the reference room. Oh, so we actually have to go to the reference room to study about the 2000s. Well, okay, that's fine. I guess we aren't going. We aren't studying about the 90s because we obviously aren't 90s kids, so we don't remember them. Oh, that was a very painful joke. All right, let's actually go. Let's head to the reference room now. I hate how you can't actually warp while you're in those rooms. Also, I actually, um, by accident, turned down the sound effects volume in the menus and turned up the music. So maybe want the music a bit louder than the sound effects than usual. But let's go ahead and talk here. So it's modern history this time. The books you'll need are The Great Dragon War Part 1 and 2. They should be in the back left. Alright, let's go back there and see what books we can find out on this um, whole thing now. Yep, here we go. You seen The Dragon War Part 1. It appears The Great Dragon War Part 2 is out on loan. Oh, well, of course it is. Of course it wouldn't be so cut and dry. Who would even want to be re researching The Great Dragon War besides us? 
All right. Uh, hey, get some help here. Hand it over to the, the Great Dragon War Part 1. What about Part 2? Wait just a moment. I'll go look for it. Hmm, the appears to have been checked out by Miss Light from, from Atlantis. If you go get it from her, you'll be able to read it right away instead of having to wait. All right, choose the, choose the Atlantis Feedback Ward and claiming this book back so we can actually start reading more about the present and about this strange company. All right, and are you the one with the book? Oh, no, that's the Fisherman. What about you? Do you have the book? Oh, a book? Oh, you mean the one about Tokyo's history? We all took turns reading it. It was really interesting. You think you could return it for me? Eh, sure, why not? We have to read it anyway. It seems Tokyo was, was hit quite hard as well. But people were able to rebuild so much in just 100 years. The people of Atlantis won't give up either. Our courage is unstoppable. Alright. So let us now head back... Oops, wrong button. I don't know, that was the right button. Uh, I'm still used to playing Shin Megami Tensei, but even then, I'm, I'm, the triggers aren't used to warp. I don't know what I was getting at there. Anyway, so back to the reference room and read up more on our history of Tokyo. Alright, we hand it over to part two. Thank you for retrieving part two. Please utilize the desk uh, provided as, as a study to study the books carefully. The key select section are the, uh, are the beginning of part one and the end of part two. Don't forget the day afterward. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and read this book and find out more about it. Alright. You open the Great Dragon War, part one and two. Alright, let's read part one. Marakumo and the Dragon. In the year 2020, Earth was in, in uh, let's see, inundated by a sudden influx of dragons. However, the Japanese government fought back with the help of, of the courageous uh, Marakuma Unit 13. Humanity was brought to the brink of destruction due to the power of the half-dragon uh, Mizuchi. But after overcoming her, among many other obstacles, humanity e uh, even defeated the true dragon. Oh, huh, okay. The name of the true dragon has been obscured by a smudge. Ew, that's not nice, but how do you get that smudge? Okay. A year after the dragon calamity of 2020, Tokyo once again fell into the hands of a true dragon. This dragon's name was Sf uh, Sfalmahat. It, it, it brought along with it a black poisonous flower, Dragon's Bane. The people of Tokyo were in despair yet once again, but yet once again, Marukumo Unit 13 stood the fight. Emil, the head of Marukumo, unfortunately died before the mission was completed. However, duties passed to a man named uh, Kirino, who went into the re uh, revived, Luc revived Lucier Marina. Um, Marina. With Marina's help, he created the Dragon Slayer and successfully defeated the true dragon. He decided to continue on to the afterword. 2020 AD, the year following 2021. Due to the invasion of the two true dragons, the world lost 85% of the population in over 100 nations. Wow. However, these calamities were put to an end thanks to the actions and willpower of the dragon hunters. After that, mankind unified their calendars, which was unified, which was renamed United Era UE and began to rebuild. Behind the scenes, Marukuma was absorbed into ISDF, the International Self-Defense Force. ISDF then established a special research team led by former head of Marukuma, Kirino. However, that team was dissolved in, in UE55 due to the age of its members. All of its data was lost. Presently, the global population has rebounded explosively to 50% of its pre calamity total. Having overcome great adversity, mankind once again finds itself at a time of peace and prosperity. Records of Marukumo may fade over time, but the determination will live on in the hearts of humanity. This world was steeled by the efforts of our predecessors and shall press on into the future. Okay, that was actually pretty interesting. It's kind of a shame that 7th Dragon 2020 and 2022 are never localized. I know there is a fan translation of the very first 7th Dragon game and 2020, but I don't believe there is one for two just yet. But anyway, now that we know more about the history of Tokyo and a lot more of the backstory of the last two Seventh Dragon games, let's go ahead and talk to Allie and tell her what we've learned about Tokyo. Alright, so let's go up here and give her a nice chat. I can't talk to her while she's in front of her desk even though she's looking right at me. Did you finish with your studies? Now then, Gamma, what do you think of the, 20, of the 2000s? Eh, not as good as the 90s. The people were amazing. There was a smudge in the book. I'm interested in Marukumo, though. I, too, am really interested in Marukumo. They formed a hundred years ago, so it seems unlikely that any of them would still be alive. But if they were, I'd certainly want to meet them. Okay, okay, employee training too has, has turned out to be a resounding success. Here, this is your reward. Use it wisely. Okay, well that was that was less money than actually spending time with um with Eulania. Okay. As long as you continue to learn, you'll continue to grow. Alright, and that and that quest is completed. 
So, next time on Let's Play 7th Dragon 3 Code VFD, we shall be going to sleep. <laughs> well, I'm probably going to sleep off screen, but we shall be continuing on into the next into our next mission and seeing what the, what is the next time zone we're going to. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below, letting me know what you guys think of the series so far. Be sure to subscribe for future episodes in this series. And as always, everyone, this is Gamma Lad signing off. Thank you.